Hey coach, um, so glad you found the video. A couple things. First of all, make sure you subscribe and like. Second thing, go over and check out teachhoops.com for coaches who want to get better. Let me show you how to put a roadmap and become a nationally ranked coach. Um, I've done it for 30 plus years. Let me help you do that over at teachhoops.com. Let's head off to the video. Hello and welcome to the Home Training for Basketball Athletes program created for teachhoops.com. This is video number two of four in the training program. My name is Dave Knight. I'm a strength conditioning coach and an athletic trainer working with teachhoops.com to create a home exercise program for basketball athletes that all athletes can use with minimal equipment. So this video number two focuses on jump training. Specifically, we're emphasizing a snap down progression for this uh, this video. Understand that this jump training program is a small piece of a larger jump training concept. However, to teach you a full jump training program without knowing where you're starting at or without uh, a significant amount of time would be very resource intensive. So we're going to focus on the snap down progression. And I think everybody will get something out of the snap down progression for sure, no matter what level you're at. So let's start with uh, an idea. There are multiple ways to train an athlete to jump higher. This video progression focuses on helping you develop single leg jump power. This is only a small taste of the total jump program, but will help you uh, <clears throat> develop a solid single leg foundation for basketball. But before we get into the jump training program, let's talk real quick about these training levels. Uh, you'll see that on every exercise, I designate a training level for each exercise. Beginner, intermediate, and of course advanced. Additionally, you'll see that some of these boxes will be shaded. Um, the, the darker the shade, like in level one for example, this exercise is probably geared more toward that level, but the reason they're shading and it's not just level one versus level two versus level three is because it's important to understand that while the exercise is probably best suited for a level one, it doesn't mean that a level three athlete couldn't or shouldn't do it. So keep that in mind as you go through this. We'll start our program with single leg snap downs. So the single leg snap down is definitely a level one exercise. The focus is on getting the athlete to learn how to quickly and aggressively snap down into a vertical jump position while, while maintaining balance and stability. In this example here, you can see how the hip falls away and it creates a loss of balance. So really trying to force yourself down into that stable single leg posture in a snap down position. We'll progress that snap down next into a vertical hop and two foot landing. So the reason we put the two foot landing in here is to allow for uh, increase in stability. So the focus here is on the takeoff. The full triple extension, so in other words the extension of the ankle, the knee and the hip, really focusing on getting off the ground as high as you can. And then with the two foot landing we don't have to worry quite as much about how the landing takes place. So the snap down is a two foot take, a one foot takeoff aggressive triple extension and a two foot landing. Moving next into our single leg version or a hop and stick. So now we'll take off and land on one leg. As we do more of these repetitions the exercise becomes more and more challenging. The focus is still to take off with as much uh, effort as possible but now we have to land and stabilize on one leg in a good athletic posture. So bent knee, bent hip, bent ankle, nice uh, neutral trunk. In other words, you're not rounded forward. You're not leaning to one side or the other, but a nice stable position off of which you can move. As we get more uh, along the progression, now we're, we'll add a lateral bound to that snap down. So here we are performing a snap down onto one leg push laterally aggressively and then land on two feet taking that stability requirement away. We'll watch a few of these. The things to look at here is how, how much force can you put in the ground so you can move laterally without a lot of upper body sway. We want that upper body maintaining a nice rigid position between the, between the opposite shoulder 
um, and the and the push off knee. Still adding more elements to this now. We'll we'll lateral bound into a vertical hop, landing on two feet. So it's snap down, lateral bound, vertical hop, land on two feet. One of the things I think we have to be very aware of is that these exercises, while they they aren't incredibly intense. Uh, the, the point is that you, you need to bring the intensity and create the effort. These exercises have to be done with 100% effort on each and every push. We're not, we won't do 50 of them. Uh, the point is I want you to focus on how much push you can create and how much distance you can cover. So it's how far can you push laterally and how high can you jump vertically more so than the number of reps you might do. Next version of this is a lateral bound to vertical hop, single leg stick. So it's just adding the single leg stick onto the end. As you see here, now this is more of a level three exercise. Trying to stick that landing is not quite as easy. So the jump training program we have broken down into beginner, intermediate, and, and advanced. You can see again, there's not a lot of repetitions. These are not five sets of six repetitions each. These are six repetitions on each leg. Reinforcing the idea that every repetition you do needs to be 100% effort. If you give anything less than 100% effort, you might as well be sitting on the couch. So do the repetitions with 100% effort. Uh, you'll be tired by the end of the series, but the idea is that I don't want you tired after the first set because then all the other sets that come after it are gonna be, they, they won't be very useful to you because you'll be exhausted. So if you have any questions, feel free to contact me at the email address listed here. Thank you for watching video number two. Hey coach, so glad you enjoyed the video. Subscribe and like. Before you leave, and also go over and check out teachhoops.com for coaches who want to get better. It's got everything and a roadmap for you to become a better basketball coach. So go over and check it out. And let's head back to the next video, wherever that would be.